The Secrets of World War II, How Three Missions Changed History. Hello and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories behind science and history. Today, we are going to talk about some of the untold stories of World War II, the global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945 and involved more than 30 countries. World War II was a time of great innovation, but also of great secrecy. Many missions and operations were carried out by the Allies and the Axis powers that were not widely known or publicized at the time. Some of these missions had a significant impact on the course of the war and the fate of the world. In this video, we will look at three of these secret missions and how they changed history. The first mission we will talk about is Operation Gunnerside, also known as the Telemark Raid. This was a daring sabotage operation by Norwegian commandos against a Nazi facility in Norway that produced heavy water, a key ingredient for making nuclear weapons. The Nazis had plans to develop an atomic bomb, and they needed heavy water to sustain a nuclear chain reaction. The Allies were aware of this threat and wanted to stop the Nazis from getting their hands on this precious resource. In 1942, a British-led team tried to destroy the heavy water plant in Vemork, but failed. In 1943, a new team of Norwegian commandos parachuted into Norway and managed to sneak into the plant and blow up the heavy water production cells. They escaped without firing a single shot and without being detected by the Nazis. The operation was a success and severely disrupted the Nazi nuclear program. The Nazis tried to salvage what heavy water they had left and transport it to Germany, but the Allies managed to sink the ferry that carried the heavy water, destroying most of it. The Telemark raid is considered one of the most successful acts of sabotage in World War II and prevented the Nazis from getting closer to building an atomic bomb. The second mission we will talk about is Operation K, also known as the Pearl Harbor Midget Submarine Attack. This was a covert attack by Japanese midget submarines against the U.S. naval base in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, on December 7, 1941. The attack was part of the larger Japanese surprise attack that aimed to cripple the U.S. Pacific Fleet and prevent it from interfering with Japan's expansion in Asia. The Japanese launched five midget submarines from larger submarines that were stationed near Pearl Harbor. Each midget submarine carried two crew members and two torpedoes. The midget submarines were supposed to enter Pearl Harbor undetected and launch their torpedoes at the U.S. warships. However, things did not go as planned. One midget submarine was spotted by a U.S. destroyer and sunk before it could fire its torpedoes. Another midget submarine ran aground on a reef and was captured by the U.S. Navy. A third midget submarine fired its torpedoes at a U.S. battleship, but missed and hit another U.S. destroyer instead causing minor damage. A fourth midget submarine fired its torpedoes at another U.S. battleship, but also missed and hit a nearby pier, causing no damage. The fifth midget submarine was never found and its fate remains unknown. The Pearl Harbor midget submarine attack was largely unsuccessful and had little impact on the outcome of the main attack. The third mission we will talk about is Operation Tan No. 2, also known as the Kamikaze Special Attack Force. This was a suicide attack by Japanese pilots against U.S. warships in Okinawa, Japan, in April 1945. The attack was part of Japan's desperate attempt to stop the U.S. invasion of Okinawa, which was a strategic island for both sides. The Japanese used special aircraft called Oka, or Cherry Blossom, which were essentially flying bombs that were carried by larger bombers. Each Oka had one pilot and one explosive warhead that could penetrate thick armor. The bombers would fly near the U.S. fleet and release the Okas, which would then glide towards their targets at high speed and crash into them, killing themselves and causing massive damage. The Okas were very hard to shoot down because of their speed and maneuverability. The Kamikaze Special Attack Force consisted of 10 bombers and 10 Okas that took off from Kyushu, Japan, on April 12, 1945. They managed to reach Okinawa and launch their Okas at the U.S. ships. However, only one Oka hit its target, a U.S. destroyer escort, which sank with 389 casualties. The other nine Okas either missed or were shot down by U.S. fighters or anti-aircraft fire. The Kamikaze Special Attack Force inflicted some damage on the U.S. fleet, but not enough to change the course of the battle or the war. 
These are just three examples of some of the untold stories of World War II. There are many more out there, waiting to be discovered and explored. World War II was a time of great heroism, but also of great horror. It was a time of great innovation, but also of great secrecy. It was a time that shaped the world we live in today, and we should never forget the lessons it taught us. Thank you for watching Science Telly, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories. See you next time.